By 2027, more than 10,000 humanoid robots will be shipped worldwide each year. By 2030, that number will grow to 38,000. That's according to Omdia, a global technology and research advisory group. In its latest robotics hardware market forecast, Omdia predicts an 83% compound annual growth rate between 2024 and 2030. 2024 is shaping up to be a seminal year for humanoid robotics. The rise is partly attributed to fascination with emerging AI technology that mimics human behavior. A growing array of companies is racing to deploy humanoid robots across industries and eventually within homes. Despite bold predictions, there are a lot of unknowns. In a press release, Omdia chief analyst Lan Jai Su said large-scale implementation is likely a few years away. The rapid fire pace of humanoid robotic advancements will make anyone's head spin. To keep you up to date, here are the latest developments in humanoid robots, including an update on Tesla's Optimus availability, Hong Kong's ambitions, a bartending robot on the rise, a method for making robotic skin feel realistic, a throwback humanoid and more. Remember to subscribe to stay in the know and leave a comment to suggest humanoid robots to cover in future roundups. Elon Musk has updated the anticipated timeline for Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot rollout. The AI robot is projected to be available for sale a year later than Musk previously indicated earlier this year. On his X platform, Musk said Tesla will have genuinely useful humanoid robots in low production for internal use at Tesla factories in 2025. He said, hopefully, production for other companies will follow in 2026. Musk has set high expectations for Optimus. The humanoid robot is engineered to handle dangerous, repetitive, or boring tasks and to coexist safely alongside humans in daily life. Elon Musk claims Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot could boost its value to $25 trillion. I think, I think everyone in the world is going to own one. Tesla would basically make about a trillion dollars of profit a year from that. So, yeah. That's what he said during the 2024 Tesla shareholder meeting. He didn't specify when Tesla could meet that market cap, and the prediction was met with skepticism. Backed by the Hong Kong government, a Beijing-based robotics startup is taking aim at global tech giants in the humanoid robot market. Galbit, founded in May 2023, plans to use Hong Kong as a strategic hub to enter international markets with high labor costs, according to the South China Morning Post. The startup's first humanoid robot, Galbit G1, was showcased at the 2024 World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai. Galbet plans to introduce the robots to Hong Kong's retail sector within the next two years. Wider deployment is targeted for within five years. The company has partnered with the Hong Kong Investment Corporation to establish the HK Galbet Embodied AI Lab. Researchers will use the Artificial Intelligence Lab to explore humanoid robotic applications for retail and tourism. The lab will also offer training programs for teenagers on AI for removing humans from dangerous and tedious tasks. The first robot bartender in a big sports stadium is now working at the Texas Rangers Globe Life Field. Rich Tech Robotics' humanoid robot, Adam, served about 500 drinks in its first week. The Las Vegas-based company says Adam is the first commercially deployable humanoid robot in the U.S. Fans can order drinks like lemon drops and whiskey sours. The company says Adam makes work easier for stadium employees, especially on busy game days. The robot is located near Section 111 of the stadium. Rich Tech Robotics develops robots for customer service applications in places like hotels and hospitals. According to reports, Rich Tech's stock on NASDAQ rose after the deployment of Adam in Ghost Kitchens International in Dawsonville, Georgia. It's the first of 240 planned locations. Scientists have developed a new way to make robotic hands with synthetic skin feel more like the real thing. They created tiny, fake blood vessels that circulate water to control temperature. The method makes robotic hands with synthetic skin feel cooler or warmer, simulating the human skin. The Korean researchers detailed their findings in the paper, 
thermoregulatory integration in hand prostheses and humanoid robots through blood vessel simulations, published in NPG Asia Materials. They note that service robots are gaining popularity thanks to advancements in artificial intelligence. They say making robots more comfortable to touch can make them easier to interact with. The technology can also make prosthetics more comfortable. The study was funded by the South Korean government through several National Research Foundation of Korea grants. In the early 1980s, Nolan Bushnell followed his success founding Atari and Chuck E. Cheese with an attempt to bring humanoid robotics into the consumer market. His company, Androbot, developed robots that interacted with users and performed some basic tasks. The designers focused on accessibility and consumer friendliness. Topo was a friendly robot that interacted with humans through basic movements and commands. It couldn't walk, but it excelled at navigating flat surfaces with its wheels. The Topo was programmable via an Apple II computer. Users could customize its movements and interaction. You can program him to tell jokes, sing, or say anything, and your imagination need not be limited to just English. I can speak Spanish. Hola, mi nombre es Topo. A more advanced version, BOB or Brains on Board, came equipped with more sophisticated sensors and processing abilities. Its interactivity and autonomy were more refined than its predecessor. <laughs> Very good, Bob. Thank you, pal. Despite the innovations, the challenges were too great for Androbot to overcome. Factors hindering broad adoption included high production costs, technical limitations, and a consumer market not yet ready for robotics in daily life. The Topo robot retailed for around $1,500 US dollars or around $5,000 today adjusted for inflation. Agility Robotics's Digit Humanoid Robot has started its first official job at a Spanx facility. Agility CEO Peggy Johnson told Fortune, there are over a million unfilled warehouse jobs in the U.S. that require the repetitive, mundane motions Digit perform. They can't find people to do that. So what does that do? It taxes the people who are there even more. And they're ending up doing this repetitive work for longer parts of their day. Digit robots handle tasks like moving plastic totes. They're controlled through Agility's Art Cloud Automation Platform. Not only is working at the Connecticut facility Digit's first official job, it's also the industry's first commercial deployment of humanoid robots under a robots as a service model. Digit is 5 foot 9 and weighs 140 pounds. The humanoid robot is designed to work alongside humans in logistics, performing repetitive tasks. The deployment is the result of an agreement with GXO Logistics, which is also testing a humanoid robot named Apollo as a proof of concept for wider use. GXO Logistics is teaming up with Apptronic to test using the robot to work alongside humans lifting heavy boxes and crates. The Apollo humanoid robot stands 5 foot 8 and weighs 160 pounds. It can lift up to 55 pounds and is intended for tasks like moving boxes, totes, and crates within warehouses. GXO Logistics operates 869 warehouses across 27 countries, employing nearly 100,000 people. The GR1 humanoid robot has begun training at a China Construction Bank branch in Shanghai. According to China Daily, the general-purpose humanoid robot helps with business consulting, providing information to customers, and guiding people on how to use the bank's smart teller machines. The GR1 by Fourier Intelligence has advanced AI capabilities and human-like movements. The project aims to improve customer service and efficiency at the bank. New footage of the GR1 general-purpose humanoid robot appears to show a brain-computer interface for robotic control. The Shanghai-based Fourier Intelligence released new footage of the 5'5 humanoid robot. The video notes improvements to the robot over the last six months, including more flexible hands, voice interaction training, integration with digital twin technology, and extended reality application. Weighing 121 pounds, the GR1 can carry objects up to 110 pounds and features 40 degrees of freedom. 
The robot can navigate complex environments with advanced motion control and self-adaptive balance capability. Its camera-based Pure Vision system uses six RGB cameras for a 360-degree view. The robot is intended for industrial, healthcare, and domestic tasks. Tokyo Robotics has released footage of its Turobo humanoid robot accurately hammering nails. Turobo has arms with seven joints that move like human limbs. It's designed for work in industrial environments alongside humans. Standing 5 foot 4, Turobo can feel how much force it uses and adjusts itself to avoid damage. It stops automatically if it bumps into something. It runs on batteries that can work for up to three hours. Disney Research Hub has created a new bipedal robot with leg movements designed for artistic expression. Geared toward entertainment applications, the robot uses a reinforcement learning-based control system to perform complex artist-directed motions. The system adapts and learns to execute these motions more efficiently with advanced AI. Its motions are guided by an animation engine that blends several animation sources for fluid and realistic motions. The researchers say the approach delivers more dynamic and realistic performances compared to robots with rigid pre-programmed movements. According to Disney Research Hub, the control system is user-friendly, so operators can easily guide the robot in real time during performances. The Disney division focuses on advancing technology and innovation in areas like robotics, artificial intelligence, and immersive technologies. The lab also recently developed a novel way to design soft robots that use air to move and interact with their surroundings. A robot's shape is perfected using a computer model that accurately predicts how it'll move. The soft pneumatic actuator design using differentiable simulation method was tested on artistic and practical robots. Neo is testing the first humanoid robot equipped with Huawei's Harmony OS at the Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer's assembly plants. According to reports, the robot named Quavo is being tested at factories of Neo and Jiangsu Hengtong Group. The humanoid robot, developed by Leiju Robotics, debuted at Huawei's HDC 2024 developer conference in June. Quavo is designed for industrial and domestic settings. Harmony OS is an open-source operating system designed to work with a broad range of devices like smartphones, tablets, wearables, smart TVs, and IoT devices. Founded in 2014, NIO is one of China's leading EV manufacturers. The company focuses on high-performance premium electric cars. Google is using its advanced AI model to train robots to navigate the real world. DeepMind, Alphabet's AI research lab, just released footage of a robot trained on Gemini 1.5 Pro traversing through its busy office. According to The Verge, DeepMind uses the Gemini AI model to train robots using video tours. It helps them learn to move and finish tasks through visual inputs. Gemini 1.5 Pro understands massive amounts of data from long-form videos and documents. Processing up to 10 million tokens, it can handle a lot more data than previous models. The AI splits up tasks into smaller chunks and assigns them to specialized groups that handle specific types of tasks. The method, called mixture of experts, makes the model very efficient. This robot hand is controlled in real time using Unity game development software. The footage is from a course taught by Professor Luis Sentis at the University of Texas at Austin on human-centered robotics. The project combines many technologies like servo motors, pulleys, and sensors into one system. The students achieve the difficult feat of realistic robotic thumb movement with the integration. It can make different hand signs and even play rock, paper, scissors. The software processes data in real time to adjust the hand's movements quickly. The sensors create a feedback loop that improves the hand's accuracy when interacting with objects. Unity software is used for creating and managing real-time 3D and 2D interactive content like video games and simulations. The platform's robotics visualization package visualizes sensor data and other robot-related info in real-time for debugging and understanding robot interactions. 
Unity generates synthetic data for training machine learning models used for tasks like object pose estimation. For a deep dive on the past, present, and distant future of humanoid robotics, check the link in the description below. Remember to suggest humanoid robots and related technologies in the comments for a follow-up.